First, if I breaking news tonight, a manhunt is underway right now for two suspects involved in a deadly shooting in Arlington. Here's what went down. An off duty JSO officer sees gunfire erupting in the parking lot of a strip mall, but that is not where the story ends. In fact, there are two other scenes being investigated right now. So those suspects then leading police on a police pursuit, followed by a home invasion nearby. The shooting happening around 11 this morning at a shopping center on Merrill Road, just west of Townsend Boulevard. Moments later, the suspects led police on a chase that ended in a crash on Townsend Boulevard and that home invasion just a few homes away. Tonight, we have live team coverage for you, breaking down all the details. We begin tonight with On Your Size, Nick Perot. Nick. Anthony, good evening. Yes, we can tell you outside of this Express Employment Center looks a lot different than it did a few hours ago. You can see boarded up windows there. Fortunately, that is where one bullet went through but did not strike any employees here. Again, man in his 20s, one hit and killed here. Again, as we mentioned off the top of the show, this is very active and still ongoing. The search for these two gentlemen in their 20s, police believe is responsible. Again, this looks a lot different than it did just a few hours ago. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is now left investigating a homicide. Around 11, police say an off-duty officer saw a black man in his 20s fatally shoot another man outside this employment center. The off-duty officer then followed that man and another in this stolen car. The two men did not get far. They crashed the car in a neighborhood along Townsend Boulevard about a quarter mile from the shooting. Police say the two men entered a home and believe the two men quickly changed clothes. Sergeant Mike Silcox said the two men in their 20s briefly held that homeowner hostage until they were picked up in an orange or red charger or challenger. From what I'm told, they were not injured. Of course, they're shaken up. The family and concerned citizens shaken up as well, crowded around police as they worked the crime scene. We just ask everybody, just as normal, just need to be aware of your surroundings and what's going on. If you have any information, we ask you to contact us at 630-0500. And back out here live, as we mentioned, police are currently searching for those two men, both 5'5", black men, first short hair with twist, tattoos on his left and right arms, gray t-shirt, I believe they switched into with brown, brown pants. So again, gray t-shirt, brown pants on the back of that gray t-shirt, the words Permonte Brothers and believe the first man was wearing white New Balance shoes. The second man they're looking for also believed to be in his early 20s, 5'5 as well, black hood, white muscle shirt, black pajama pants with the words Mountain Dew on them. And as we mentioned again, throughout this, there are two separate scenes. They crashed that car roughly a quarter mile from where we're standing in this shopping center. And that's where we find our Robert Bradfield continuing our coverage. Robert, good evening. Good evening, Nick. Yes, that car that police believe to have been involved in that shooting is here on Townsend Boulevard. You can see tonight, though, police have removed the caution tape, but that car still uh, on. You can see that there's some of the blinkers on as well, but that car did run over a tree here at Townsend Boulevard. I did speak with a homeowner here earlier off camera. She was inside her home in her bedroom at the time. She heard that car hit the tree. She then came out and looked out her window and saw two men jump over her fence. She says there was possibly Possibly a third suspect who actually ran across the street and over the fence of her neighbor. But that woman was inside the home at the time. She, of course, still upset here tonight. Also, about eight houses down, there was that home invasion that Nick mentioned. That woman was held hostage for quite some time as those two suspects did change clothes and then they left that area in that car that Nick mentioned as well. But back out here live tonight, police pretty much clearing the scene here on Townsend Boulevard coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. You will hear Hear from that woman who lives across the street who saw one other suspect jumped over her fence. She describes that moment when she decided to lock her doors and shut her windows. We will have that for you all new at six. But again, Nick Perot did mention the suspect's description. We have that for you online tonight, along with this story here on First Coast News. We're live tonight in Arlington. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side. Robert and Nick, thank you. And you can find more details on this story on our website, firstcoastnews.com. We have the suspect's descriptions and the addresses where all of this took place. And if you have any information tonight about the people involved, the suspects, the people that they're looking for, call Crime Stoppers. Remember, you can remain anonymous. That phone number right there on your screen.